then of course, on the personal side, my husband, Brian, my kids, Dallas and Millie, and the joy of being a parent, the best and hardest job in the world. I'll take all the advice if you have it. Um, but the joy of being a parent or a mom that, that looks a little bit different and being able to show my kids firsthand that it doesn't matter what we look like, that we all have something different about us. Mine's a little bit more vis visible. But you embrace what makes you different. You embrace what makes you unique. And you can still get out there and dream big dreams and live the life that you want to live. So as you can imagine, I've learned a lot along the way. We've all learned a lot in our lives. The first is that life is short. Some of us know that more than others, especially after COVID. The second is as cliche as it sounds is that dreams come true. Cliches exist because they're true, right? Because in September of 2016, mine did. I had my son Dallas and I was able to get back into peak athletic shape and qualify for my second Paralympic games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in the sport of triathlon. Of any day that my race could have taken place over in Rio, the date was September 11th. You can imagine the meaning. Waking up September 11th, 2016 in my hotel room in Rio, putting on that Team USA uniform and knowing that the race wasn't just for me, but every swim stroke, every bike pedal, every run step were for those who no longer could. Swimming, biking, and running up and down the streets of Copacabana Beach in Rio. Coming across the finish line, getting a bronze medal that felt like a personal gold. On a historic day, because my teammates got gold and silver. It was a USA sweep on September 11th. And we stood on that podium and saw not one, not two, but three American flags go up as we heard our national anthem. Standing on that podium, thinking about all those years ago, over in Iraq, somebody tried to take my life. They didn't. They took my leg, but they did not take my spirit. My teammate who lost her leg to cancer years prior, she did not let that stop her. Truly showing the world the power of the American spirit and how much ability is in a disability. And this time, hugging my dad and my husband with tears of joy, just so proud to be in that moment. And the best part about it was going home, putting the medal around my son's neck. And because my son was too young to make the trip to Rio, we did have these jumbo size heads <laughs> made of him for my family to bob around for that extra motivation. So before I conclude, I wanna, I wanna stop here and share with you guys, again, a few things that I've learned. And the hope is that you think about these and you apply them to your own life. When you leave today, you think about what we've talked about. The first is the power of a team. You guys are a team. And I've been fortunate to experience teamwork in all aspects of my life. In the military, teamwork resonates in everything that we do. Nothing says that truer than 19 years ago when my soldier and my teammate literally saved my life. When I was on that podium in Rio, it, it wasn't just me up there. It was my team. It was my family, my friends, everyone that believed in me to get there. Find your people. We need them now more than ever. Those people that you can call when days are tough because days can be hard. They can also be so good. And finding those people to celebrate with when things are so good. Find people you can trust in. Find people you can rely on because we are all in this life together.